guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking a bit of a price update of what happened to Yala over the last couple of weeks. Also a bit of a market crash update. And I'll have five new buy recommendations as a group of stocks to buy rather than one stock. And I do recommend buying all of these five, not just pick out the individual ones that you prefer. Now, also, please like and subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you've got any questions. If you've got any businesses that you'd like me to analyse, do comment them below. Uh, also, do your own research. Now, I'm obviously not a finance advisor, so obviously this is for entertainment purposes only. However, last year I did make an 82% return on my money, so this could be a gateway to making massive returns as well. Also, I'll be putting my link below for stake so you can collect your free stock from stake and you can purchase these five stocks on there too now i so my last buy recommendation i is is still yala obviously i i did suggest look if you'd like to diversify your portfolio a little bit add a square teledoc and docusign now that was obviously just because it's a market pullback and today we'll be getting more into that as well. Right, so the market retraction was, you know, a little bit longer than what a lot of people did think it was going to do. Now, I did believe that this was on the cards to possibly happen. I know I've had people say in the comments below, oh, Yala's going to have a pullback. Look, I wouldn't say it's specifically aimed at Yala. It is the market in general. The whole market went down. Now, so obviously that's a good thing because it's obviously not Yala in particular. Now, this is obviously opens up a big buying opportunity, so I hope you took advantages of that. Now, it did sort of start somewhere between the 17th and the 24th of February, had a bit of a down from the 17th, picked back up to the 24th, and then had a further retraction from there, ending on the 4th of March. Now, the 4th of March is obviously the last of the low, low days. Now, that total retraction for the S&P 500 was roughly 5%. Now, there was a lot of stocks in there that did have a bigger pullback than that. Like, Yala got down to over 50% retraction from its previous highs in weeks before. Now, so, this is just general purposes of the market. It's, normally, it's probably a little bit more extreme than what we'd normally see as a pullback during the year. During the year, we'd normally see, you know, sort of 2 to 3 pullbacks of you know up to about five percent through the year now a lot of tech stocks i did have quite a bit of sell-off during those periods so i hope you did buy in to my recommendations or at least your favorite stocks that you do believe in most as well right so yala's pricing update now it is noted that they should be releasing their financial results today monday the 15th of march now, that's everywhere that I've found so far. You know, they may not. It's just obviously on their history of how they've done things. So hopefully they do release it today. And sometime this week, I should be able to give you a bit of an update of what I think once I've read through them and see where they've grown or decreased or whatever they've done, see how much they've grown. Maybe they may not have grown as much as what we'd like them to. So hopefully I can have a bit of a read through that at some point this week and then do another video to try and keep you guys informed as well. So at the moment, my price prediction for Yala still stays at $60 per share. Now, it does have the potential to reach to, you know, $90 by the end of the year, but my target is still $60 per share. And that's all based on P ratios of the earnings per share as well. So if they reach the targets that I would like them to reach, they should hit $60 per share by the end of the year. Now on to our new buy recommendations. So this is a small group of stocks that I do believe will have massive potential over the next five years. And we're not really talking speculative. Like I do really, really believe in these stocks. It's not like a bit of neo-hype or anything like that. Uh, some of these businesses are profitable and some of them aren't. Uh, one of the businesses I do believe can have the potential to reach a trillion dollar market cap within the next five years. It could happen sooner than that as well, but I do believe within the next five years they should be able to receive a trillion dollar market cap. Now, see, the, these companies, the first one is CRM, is the ticket code, and it's Salesforce. 
I, so they are a massive company that do have an earnings per share of $4.38 per share. Now my second company is Square, ticket code is SQ. They also have an earnings per share of, I think it's about 38 cents, or four, so 44 cents in my notes down here per share. Now they also have massive potential over the next five years. Uh, Teladoc, they're not quite profitable yet. Uh, ticket code is TDOC. The next stock is Twilio, T-W-L-O. And then my last stock, which I've made a massive return on over the last six months, is Cloudfare, ticket code NET. Now, so when I say gr a group of stocks, I recommend buying all of these stocks. Now, diversifying that same small amount of money, or if it's a large amount of money, a large amount of money, diversify evenly across all five of these stocks. Now, these stocks built together, I do believe you will have massive returns on your money. Now, I don't recommend buying like one or two of these stocks because you know they're not they're not businesses that I can a hundred percent calculate the returns on. So they they're companies that it's almost speculative, but it's not quite because I do I do believe that these businesses will be massive in the near future as well. Uh, they do generally have pr relatively small market caps in relation to where I believe their market revenue will be at the future. Now, so you, with stake, uh, which I'll put in the link below, you can use fractional buying shares. So if you only have $1,000 or even $500 to spend, uh, some of these businesses are worth, uh, I think Twilio hit $400 per share a couple of weeks ago. have had a retraction since then. Uh, so these, these five businesses, you can buy with fractional shares through stake, and that'll help you diversify your money as well if you don't have a large amount of money to put in. Uh, yeah, so over the next week, I should be releasing a video on each of these stocks. So one video per stock to try and give you a full in-depth review of what I really do believe of this business within the next five years and why it is on my buy recommendation list. So, and like the, these are massive and these are really, really great businesses with really, really great management behind them as well to try and help them grow. So that'll do it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you've got any questions. Don't forget to stake the free referral code down below and you'll get your free stock. Uh, you can also purchase those five businesses as well through there. Okay, that'll do it for the next one. Cheers, guys.